Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. Let's get into it. Hello YouTube, welcome to KGFCP where you could get free project files, tutorials, and more. My name is Kevin Gannett, and today we're gonna make an Instagram animation. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to click the link in the description so you can download this Instagram animation zip. Once inside there, you're going to see a bunch of files. You're going to want to double click on the IG animation project file. And then after it opens up, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is determine if you want to keep the light mode or if you want to switch it around. For the purpose of this video, we're going to switch it around. So I'm going to go to the dark mode and I'm going to drag it right here until you see that blue outline same thing like the Twitter video drop it right there then you're going to click on the light mode you're gonna press command C then you're gonna to go to the dark mode you're gonna press command option V so now you basically pasted the animation to the dark mode version so now we're gonna to have to make you a nameplate so what you're gonna do is depending on which one you used I'm gonna use the dark mode Photoshop file. I also included a PNG in case you don't have Photoshop. So just try to keep it within the parameter of the way I got it. If not, you might have to do some adjustments on your end, but if you stick to what I got here, you should be good to go. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna just change this to follow me. We're gonna save this as a PNG, save it to your desktop. Once that's done saving, you're gonna drag it same exact way. You're gonna wait for the blue outline. You're gonna drop it right there. You're gonna click on my nameplate. You're gonna press Command C. Then you're gonna click on the nameplate you just created. You're gonna press Command Option B. So now your animation should look something like this. As you can see, it's a little bit too long. We're gonna fix that right now. But first, let's make this the same length as the dark mode icon. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to crop and we're gonna crop the right of it. So we're gonna get something, I think right around there looks good to me. Now, if you don't like where it's coming up at on the screen, like let's say you want it in the bottom right corner, for example, what you do is select all the files and we're gonna make the compound clip. And then you're going to go to your transform area and you're going to drag the position up or lower depending up or down depending on where you want this to be at so if we want it to be on this side of the screen i'm going to drag it to around 33 30. so now when we press play it comes up on that side of the screen but for now i'm just going to leave it back to the left side of the screen so now what you want to do is you want to highlight all of these files and you're going to press new compound clip. The next thing you wanna do is hold an option and click on it and drag it to the right. Or you could just press command C and then command verify, it does the same trick. You're gonna click on the second one you just created and you're gonna to go to reverse clip. After you press the reverse clip, you're gonna hit play, make sure everything works perfectly. Should have something that looks like this. Now that that's done, we're gonna click on the export button and you're gonna to wanna to go to settings and make sure you have it on Apple ProRes 4444 because this is a transparent video and if you don't export it in 4444, I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is in 4444 it works. So we got that done. We're gonna rename this follow me and we're gonna hit next. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it on your footage. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just open up any project like you would. Go to where you exported it, and then you're just gonna drag it right on top of your footage. So now when you press play, you should have something that looks like that. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you want to get more content like this. I got more project files coming soon, more free graphics, so you don't want to miss it. Peace out, dudes. Catch you guys in the next video. God bless.